Okay, so y'all see this? Somebody did that and thought it was a suitable repair for a barbed wire fence. It's just, there. what is that, an inch there? You know, it, it, it's just, it's not right. Let's fix it. So this barbed wire repair, it's shoddy. It's not done right. It's not going to hold. But it's not their fault. Uh, you know, nobody ever showed them how to do it. And that's a responsibility that, you know, we that we need to fill you know we got to teach our kids how to do this stuff and if you already know how to do this then well this video is not for you but it's just something that it's a skill that everybody needs to know i've got a video that i did oh it's been a few years ago on how to kind of do a hack job with a with a claw hammer you can go check that out if you want but let's go through this and actually repair it right as far as the tools you don't need a whole lot um Fence stretcher, will this all fit in frame? Uh, there's lots of ways to stretch fence. This is the right tool for the job. They work great. Find one, they're not too expensive, but it's, it's the tool you need. And if you're moving out somewhere where you're gonna have a little bit of barbed wire fence, well, that's, it's the cost of business. You gotta buy one. Uh, fencing pliers, these right here. Um, I don't know what brand these are. These are some of my granddad's old pliers. They're getting harder and harder to find good ones. The really, really good ones are made by Moore, uh, M-O-O-R-E. But the ones from Crescent seem to work just fine. I haven't had any issues with those. Um, you, you've got, you know, a staple puller and a hammer and you know, different ways to, you know, grab a hold of stuff and, you know, wire cutters here on the side. Um, this is not a great tool for any job that needs to happen on a fence line, but it will actually do them all. It will do them all pretty good. Uh, this is really all I really carry. And the alternative to this is you're carrying around a whole tool belt of 20 tools to get done what you need to do. One extra thing, uh, a Phillips head screwdriver. We'll get to this in just a minute. You don't have to have it, but man, it's kind of nice. I like things that make my life easier. So let me pull in here a little closer. I was gonna untwist this. I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm just gonna cut it off and we'll start with new wire. Oh, gloves. Get yourself some leather gloves. Well, those look brand new. What kind of man has brand new pairs of gloves? Well, probably the man who wore out the last set he had. So yeah, whatever. All right, bear with me. I'll pull y'all in closer. Okay, so like I said, I'm just gonna clip this off and start over with new wire that's not kinked up and you know halfway destroyed before we even start. Sometimes you can get these to go all the way through on the first bite, but usually got to get it in two. Clip that off. And clip this off. Get it as close as we can so we don't waste a bunch of wire. All right. Where's our other one? So now we're here. We got this two clean cuts of wire. Uh, so let's get started on the actual repair. We want to bend this over a loop. You see? So enough where you can get your hands on it. You want to be able to get your hands on these so you can have some leverage to be able to twist that wire. And we'll do the same for this side. Some people take the barbs off before they fix it that's probably a pretty good idea uh, I don't I'll show you how though just untwist it like that see how the wire kind of twists together just untwist it and slide them off it does make it a little bit easier without the barbs in the way um, it doesn't affect the the holding ability of it any but it does make it a little bit easier. So once again, 
I go a little bit more than, let's see, I go a little bit more than a hand span. So see right there, I'll come over about that far and bend it over, lay it over just like that. So we've got this shape on both sides. Okay, so a power tip for you right quick. Let me back you guys up. So a power tip. See this? This is my repair wire. There are no barbs on it. It's just fine. You don't need them. And that's actually what I would recommend. We're going to do the same thing. Going to straighten it out a little bit. Excuse me. My allergies are going crazy. <laughs> so let's straighten it out. And put us a a J hook on that end. Let's loop our other end of wire. Can you see that? And pull you in again. You see that? And we're just gonna give this thing a couple wraps and I'll show you where the screwdriver comes in handy. I wanna put that there just to hold my wire in place. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my wire get right here in the in the crook with my pliers. I'm gonna put in some fairly tight wraps. Once you get it started, you can come in and stick a screwdriver in there. You want three tight wraps. We'll wrap that up a little better here in just a second, but that'll work just fine for now. And we'll do the same thing right here. See how I pinched the loop closed right here? You use this portion of your pliers to pinch that loop closed. Put my screwdriver in there. And then start to put a couple wraps in there. And this can at times be, you know, kind of a three-handed operation. I'm gonna put this over my shoulder just to get it out of my way. And that's good. We'll come back and tighten this one up and dress this up here in just a moment. Okay, now for our stretcher. Make sure your levers are on the correct side. Uh, don't ask me how I learned that lesson. Okay, quick lesson on how these work. They are a ratcheting mechanism used to fix the fence. This right here is, this right here is your release. See that? That's your release. Flip that up, move this all the way up, and move it all the way out as far as you can get it to go. Flip your release down, and then hang it on the fence. See that? Our wire clips into there. Do it over here in the light. Once again, we wanna leave us enough tail on this so that we can get some wraps in while keeping in mind that we still need to reach over to this other side. These th things tend to slip. I just give that a good whack to hold it in place. And likewise, on the other side, we just do the same thing. All right, then we just start tightening the fence. How tight do we get it? Well, it depends. 
this is old fence it's old wire so if we tighten it up too much it'll break on us so y'all can kind of see that i'm going to go one more click all right just let that hang my microphone was laying on the ground so i don't know how much of that y'all actually got <sighs> So let's find the midpoint here. And we're gonna have to cut some of this wire off. And just twist it over. Let's see if we can get that a little straighter. Just twist it over like that. Once again, this is old wire on an old fence. I'm not gonna tighten this up too much because I don't wanna break the old wire. Cut some of this off so it's, there's enough there we can deal with, but it's not all in the way. Pick these up. Don't leave these laying down. If this was good wire, on a good fence i'd have this thing stretched like it was a guitar string but we're we're working with what we got here remember that let's see can i go one more yeah okay So we got that there and then we're just going to do the same as we did before you know we're going to put at least three wraps on these you can see why right here let me bring y'all in you see why how these barbs tend to get in the way uh they just make it a pain to work with they don't affect anything but they, they do make it a pain in the butt and you just twist that back together easy enough twisted that backwards but that's okay put your pliers in grab a hold of that wire come up here and crimp it down if this is old wire you've got to be careful about how i mean older than this wire you got to be careful about how much you crimp that because it will break on you. Can you see how that is held in there? There's two notches and I've got one piece of wire in each notch. What that does is it keeps the fence from, keeps the actual wire that's on the fence from twisting. There's that one. Uh, there's no stupid barbs, but that's okay. You can grab one of each wire on your little loop where you make a bend in that wire, clamp down on it, and it keeps you from just, you know, twisting on down the fence line. And you kind of got to fight to get around this thing, but you know, it's, it's the right tool for the job. And don't expect with working with old wire that you're going to get a, a guitar string tight fence. It's just, it's just not going to happen. Okay. So that's good. We'll dress it up here in just a minute. So let's back off or make sure that this is engaged right flip this up get out of the way 
and slowly release that fence as slowly as you reasonably can I mean give this a knock go ahead and pull that off pull that off too all right so now all that's left is just to kind of clean this up a little bit uh, I'm just going to stick a screwdriver in anywhere I can get it to go and wrap this. The screwdriver just helps me keep it from twisting on me. That's good. See there's a side that has teeth and a side that doesn't. I'm grabbing this with the side with no teeth so I can just sort of spin it around. Or at least that's what I'd like to do. I don't have to give you instructions on how to grab wire with pliers. I'm pretty sure that everybody can figure at least that much of this out. We'll do this side as well. Working around a camera here, it makes everything more difficult. Okay, so that's you know pretty clean. Or as clean as what I'm going to do for right now. Now all we need to do is reattach to that post. I don't have any wire clips with me. This is not my fence. Uh, this is my, I'm over at my in-laws house. And this fence was put up by their neighbors. So it's actually their neighbor's fence. Um, but I'll get some actual clips and put that on properly at a later time. Well, anyway, if y'all have made it this far, please do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. It does mean a lot, and just remember, pass any skill on that you know. It's not some kid's fault that he doesn't know how to, you know, do a fence. You need to keep that in mind. Well, until next time, you guys be safe. So just a quick thing. I've got some extra wire, so what am I going to do with it? I'm going to hang it. I'm going to hang it on this post. So it'll be there the next time I need it.